guys, Tim Kell, TKL Knives. So, thank you for joining us on our quest to build the TKL style perfect folder that you want. We're kind of known for listening to our customers. So we took some polling, said, you know, we're wanting to make a folder because you guys are asking for it. What would you like to see? So there were some really common things that kept coming up among certain brands and certain features that they offered. What not to do, what steels to use, what type of locks you'd like to see. So to be educated on that type of stuff, we asked for suggestions. So we came up with the top three lock blade handle combinations clip styles all that crap you guys told us about and i bought three blades this is not in an attempt to rip off anybody's work this is not an attempt to dog out anybody's work these are just matter of fact i liked i didn't like first this is the shark lock by andrew demko 20.5 this is a 3v blade the stone wash i like the look of that finish for me, from a different, completely different standpoint, we're talking about the lock, right? So the handle design is not gonna be my preference in the way I de design blades. The clip is digging into me, but we found that across the board on every folder. So I gotta reinvent how to do that. That's pretty common for a folder though, right? The clip is an afterthought. You gotta have a way to carry it. So where do you stick this thing without it digging into your thing? So that's their clip right so that's the thing opened all the way up my choice in handle material is going to be different because my use is different um i think it's a secure lock there's a little bit of rattle what i want to get away from is something that's really noisy because for me in the environment that i work in i train to hear stuff right so i hear a that and i look and i'm i'm action that way right so Although this is a super, super strong lock, I don't think their design consideration for this was in the same clandestine CCW community that we operate in. So I don't think that was a consideration. See, that's a, that's a lot of noise for me personally. Some people may like that noise. Some people like that noise. I mean, it's fun. I'll give you that. It's a fun little thing. I actually got myself in trouble sitting in my chair. I was over there like, camera wife is like um can you stop and i'm like oh yeah sorry i was playing with my fidget spinner over here fidget spinners for boys men's whatever but action wise fluid lock up super freaking strong i'm gonna go in a different direction with that because our preferences are gonna be quiet but mechanism wise great job thanks on the lock suggestion. thanks for the suggestion i learned a lot about what to do for our style folder and what not to do so that's the uh shark lock ad 20 go to patreon for your chance to win this because first giveaway is july 15th first giveaway july 15th we launched the patreon on june 15 shark lock july 15 and keep giving me feedback on that over there. See the inside track on the design processes, pictures. We discuss locks. Jump in on that stuff. Become Tell a Patreon what your member. Ultimate folder would be what? What features? Would right. Be? Ultimate folder. What features? Do you care about noise? Do you not? Do you want a back lock, an access lock, um, a what's another one? We'll look at some others. But that's what this is for. To input into the t kellyan community so that we can make a blade that us guys is like that's different on everything that's out there two benchmade bailout in 3v you can probably see that this is a thinner version of what they label a tactical knife but for me and my buddies um a tactical blade needs to be a little bit more robust. It needs to be a thicker style blade. Although I like the profiles of this, I think for our use, the nickel boron is going to be better. Um, Cerakote looks good for a while, but if you're using it in hard use, that's going to break down. Um, for a thinner blade, I think on a piercing cut or really getting in there prying, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to break this thing pretty freaking quick. I like that when you actuate an axis lock, it brings your fingers clear of that. A lot of you guys mentioned to check this out for that reason. That's nice. Keeps your fingers out of the way. And you're talking super strong lockup on that. Again, 
My only really major complaint is that, and this one sticks up even higher than some others, but you can run a lanyard through that and drop that in your pocket and do away with this pocket clip. Um, I don't think their focus on this was a smooth action, but what it is, so that lock up compared to very audibly different. So I think the noise that you hear is much better. It kind of lacks in blade weight to really get that thing out quick, but if you're trying to be quiet, you want minimal noise. So it does accomplish that. I think we're gonna learn a lot from this, what spring not to use. These axis springs can over time break down. Thumb studs a little different, but you can get this thing given to you also. This is in a 3V, sort of a crossover to a heavy use knife. Not what I would call heavy use, but overall, I think it hits on the points that it's marketed for, but not for our use. Lastly, the uh, AD10 by Cold Steel. AD for Andrew Demko, same guy that designed the lock on the shark lock. I'm sorry, can you hear me over that? I'm not sure if you can. Is that, what, what were you? Sorry, it's fun though. I can play with it a lot. This is a S35V. You guys said test some S35V. Some people said check out the jimping. I do find that jimping is a little bit lost inside of this lock because it's not on the lock bar itself. So still slick, but you do get some thumb rest up there. This is a heavy duty knife. The texturing and the shaping on the G10 is super clean. I think they did a really good job of making this smooth. But for TKL, you guys love our grip, you love our texture, so we're gonna go with that. So we're not really interested in this style of handle. It just doesn't really work for our use, but it's pretty, right? The clip, I like that it's robust, but again, cuts into my meatses, you know what I'm saying? Um, the S35V seems to hold up to an edge better. I don't think it's quite on par with maybe the AEBL that we're testing in a stainless. It's not as, it's harder to sharpen in the field, so we wanna kinda go towards that. The triad style lock. Um, it has some good points if you're gonna be batoning through. It's got some other stuff that I don't think that we're gonna take pointers from this lock. And I'm not gonna get into all of my gripes on every other maker's blades, because these dudes are my friends, right? And they give me feedback, and I give them feedback, but that's not what this is. It's a research project. So when we're done with the research materials, we're just gonna give them away. We're gonna donate them to our Patreon members. Um, that's what we're doing. All the clips dig in. There's fit and finish things that will like cut you and stuff. And uh, that's not the cutting end of this blade. That's like the pocket end. That's going to cut you. Doesn't make a lot of sense. So we're going to be paying more attention to those type of details like we're known for. We, you know, we're looking at thumb stud types. We're doing an all new thumb stud. Um, how do you place a jimping on something that actually does something instead of a lock bar in it that makes it completely slick and useless jimping, but it looks neato. Um, you know, do we want lanyard holes? How do we get a lanyard hole without having this effing thing cut your finger trying to get to it? Stuff like that. So it's so far, it's been a super fun project. We may purchase more blades to test it out. If we do, that's gonna be what we're gonna do over on Patreon. The first giveaway on the first blade is gonna be that blade, the, uh, super quiet one that's going to be july 15th we launched patreon june 15th so july august september that's how we're going to roll this thing jump on tell us what you like tell us what you don't like learn more about the behind the scenes process let's build some cool stuff together thanks guys 